It dawns on me that uh, all this time in uh, Italy, I've never really made a video at, at nighttime, right? Um, that's really when uh, Italy wakes up. Anyway, before I uh, talk about it, uh, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss out on one exciting video. So, actually, this is my uh, last last night in uh, in Italy. Been here for a month. Wrote a ton of shit. <laughs> I hope it's not shit, but <laughs> I wrote a ton of it anyway. Um, you know, uh, did a bunch of stuff I had to do for publishers and editors and all that sort of stuff. And uh, um, ate a lot. I think I ate, like... I think this might be the first time I ever, I ever came to to Italy and and actually put on a couple of pounds. <laughs> I, I like went ballistic with the food this time. I, I don't know, you know, not just the, my cardiologist cardiologist shouldn't hear this, but uh, I I really indulged in some uh, really good fatty foods. Um, but let me see. Come tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow I hear something. Yes, tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Adamani, Adamani. Um, come tomorrow. Um, I'll be back on track. Anyway, I still worked out every day and all that sort of stuff. But, uh, you know, this has been a well worth a trip. You know, for God's sakes, with everything shutting down and opening up and shutting down again and all that sort of stuff, I feel like this is the only place you can really really get to I mean it's like you can't you can't um, you know you can't plan a trip where you go to like three different places and fly to three different places because you got to get you got to get uh, tested every place and you might not pass the test and it's just it's not worth the tension and the strain to do those things so um, let's see I'm about to cross the street here uh, it's really Taking your life in your own hands when you cross the street in uh, in Rome, let me tell you. There comes a bus. He, this guy will run me down before he stops. Trust me on that one. Um. So I'm gonna head to this one place for a drink that I've been looking at for a lot of years. I I jog past it every day, and we'll see what happens. Anybody remember these? Holy, holy Moses. Okay, so if you come to Rome, go to Venice, uh, Florence, whatever, you see these like very almost ancient looking, not placards, but I guess signs, placards, whatever, stone engravings in the wall. Okay, turn the camera. And, and what they mean is that that means like the the river flooded up to that level at some point Don't, I, I can't translate the Roman numerals, but uh, but that that's what that means like this this was underwater for however long and then the um, I think in the late earlier late 19th century boy, that's a wide swath of time, but uh, the Italians uh, invented a uh, no it couldn't have been because all right, now I'm just like speaking off the cuff here. I think it was like only like 50 years ago they, they came up with a system of dikes for their rivers so that uh, uh, the cities stopped flooding um, because there would be major, major, major floods. And Venice is still flooding, as you know. younger place um, meaning everybody runs this place probably my kids age um, but really cool really cool really cool stuff um, I'm gonna have a Prosecco with some uh, salami and olives see how that goes
Now that's some serious gastronomical science. Okay, so the owner asked me if I want just a little, uh, you know, a little salami with and olives yeah. with my with my my prosecco. So here's what I got. Olives from Puglia. I got some uh, boar and pancetta from uh, the Marquee region. Of course, my uh, drink, but I guess salami. And it, it's just unbelievable. Welcome to Italy. Grab a little bread. Little pancetta. Oh my god. You're not getting that little cool. Corner bar. Up in Albany. Unbelievable. Okay, so after a quick pit stop in my uh, hotel room, uh, I'm back on the trail. I ditched the hat. Because, I don't know. Time to ditch the hat. Um, Alright, let's see where I end up next. Mom has got a squeeze box. So I'm in uh, Campo di Fiore, which is another one of my favorite places. I don't know. A bunch of eateries. Places you can drink. Um, it's not like Piazza Navona, which is like super expensive. It's a little bit more. It's a little bit more um, where you can get home cooking and less expensive and all that sort of stuff. And one of my favorite places is here. I got to show you uh, Bruno, Big Bruno. So. So, that's Bruno. He was like the Ocasio Cortez of his time. <laughs> so, whatever. All right, anyway, I'm heading into one of my favorite places uh, for a dish that I love so much uh, rabbit congelio, they call it. More to come. I have to admit, I thought these guys were closed from the uh, pandemic, but they're open. That's good for me. All right, so this is one of my favorite meals in the world. I, I come to Rome just to get this meal. I'm not kidding. I'll, I'll spend $600 on hotel rooms just to get this meal. Uh, one man ban here, correct. I hope you got that in the shop, but uh, that's congelio or rabbit. It's uh, rabbit or congelio cacciatore. Cacciatore has a different meaning in the States, but uh, and fried potatoes is just unbelievable. Just an unbelievable meal. <laughs> Homemade. Um, that's, what, that's what Italy's all about. All right, ciao, ciao. All right, so that ends, sort of ends my night <laughs> in Rome. I have been eating, more eating than drinking. I have been eating for about three hours. Um, but that's what can happen here. You know, you just get into this trap of like, I'm gonna like eat here, I'm gonna try this here, I'm gonna do this here. Paris is the same way. Paris is definitely the same way. Um, but uh, I've definitely hit the wall. <laughs> I've, I've hit the wall with words. I've hit the wall with sleep or the lack thereof. I've hit the wall with, uh, with some really nice alcoholic beverages i've hit the wall with food so i'm gonna look, i'm gonna head back now and uh i'm gonna try to catch some some z's and get up at dark 30 for my flight and uh <laughs> i will check in with you guys at that point because i have to actually work before I get on that plane and file a story. So, all right.
So that was my night tonight in Roma. All right, ciao, ciao.